Okay, in this scene, uh, I want to explain the camera setting. First, and as you can see in our scene manager, we don't have any camera. I want to explain these tools. That is all about the camera. Uh, as you can see here, we have just viewport camera. The viewport camera, we don't have any settings for that. So you have to some add a camera. Nice, as you can see, we add a camera. When we add a camera, you can change the uh, canvas size of that camera and then you can uh, render it this dimension that you want. If you select it, you can uh, change the output setting there. Interesting. Or you can add a background if you want. Now, if you insert a camera, you can match image with that. That I explained it before. And here is the camera uh, parameter. Uh, if you uh, rotate camera, Oh, as you can see, you have to go to the camera. And as you can see, be, care be careful about that. You have to select that. <clears throat> and uh, we are in our camera. Camera here. Uh, we are in a camera. And for example, uh, you fix this. Uh, you want to be fixed this ca camera angle. And you don't want to change that. Uh, if you want to uh, reorder your scene, you can completely come here and go to the viewport camera this is viewport camera and as you can see our main camera is still del there and you can if you want you can add some other objects anything that you want you can add it and then you can simply come back to your main camera and this is our scene and you can of course add it here <clears throat> i didn't add any material because i want to render it my scene and navigate my scene fast so you have to go again to the camera and as you can see what you can lock it you can lock it and you cannot suddenly change that nice so if, when you are in a camera you can unlock that uh, if you want okay uh, for uh, smoothly zoom in and out hold alt and right click hold alt and right click for better understanding the all shortcuts, you can go here uh, to, sorry, to edit preferences. And here is a keyboard shortcut. For camera, for example, you can see all of the uh, camera shortcuts here that you can un uh, use them. Okay, come back to our camera and then lock it. Okay. Come to camera and as you can see it's locked and you cannot change the any uh, settings of that so unlock that here is a position a rotation of and the scale does not mean the scale the size just we want to rotate the camera it's very city you don't need to pivot uh, in an object you can uh, change the output setting you can lock the aspect ratio of that you can make it full hd hd and as you can see you can add a background to your scene if you want and here is a focal length it's actually mm, field of view for example if you want to see uh, more space in a room you can uh, decrease this number as you can see the do, uh, camera is in its position just we are open our lens open our field of view but uh, be careful about this this distortion it does not zoom in or out just change the field of view and you can uh, give a regular number to that that's very easy and interesting thing is the depth of field you can turn it on and you have to uh, set the focus distance for example click here i want to this uh, object uh, be in my focus and the object after that become blur for seeing the blur you have to turn on ray tracing to see that as you can see our uh, this object is in a focus and other objects are blur and you can change the blur uh, and you can see it very well as you can see and you can 
decrease the number of the blurriness. Nice, so as you can see, it's the focus. Okay. Or you want to this object to in a focus, set focus point. It's very easy. Boom. Click on it. And this object is in a focus and the object near the camera and the object far from this distance become blur. Nice. So it's very easy. Depth of field in this software is very easy. and the animation of the camera okay when you insert a simple camera and in a camera in an animation tab you have two animation ways for animating your camera first you can close them as you can see we have an orbit and a spin when you uh, activate orbit you have to first select the target you select it and then select this target it means the camera orbits around this target that you selected as you can see it's selected mesh or you can delete it or uh, select the target again as you can see it tells or oh, look at the target always and uh, the target offset is zero you can you can ch choose the offset uh the target is exactly here or if you want to be a little bit offset up down you can uh, choose for example in a y x or <clears throat> axis offset from the exact position of target duration of that for example this seconds and then you can simply you can uh, choose rotate 360 and then here in a timeline as you can see the number you type here exactly type there and then you can play as you can see the uh, camera is orbiting around that object and tells you if you want to edit in scene a stopped animation stop and then in a render you can change uh, you can uh, specific which uh, frame you want entire frame that you selected there in a frame per second or just first frame so you can choose a still image or animation you can do from render <coughs> this is an orbit you can if you don't want you can change the degree from for example from this degree and it does not go 360 degree you can stop it <clears throat> you can make reverse direction in another direction that you want stop and the easing how to uh, the behavior of the camera moving behavior of the camera you can make it li linear or any uh, form and wave. As you can see, this is an easy out and is in, is in and is out. It's a smoothly move and then go to the constant speed. And at the end of the <coughs> rotation, as you can see, it's fast in and slowly stop down. This is is in and is out then you can elastic way it's reducing speed like a sine way it's come back and leave a different behavior that you want you can create with such a distinct stop and bouncing for example mode Yeah, unfortunately, we cannot uh, access its settings to changing other settings, but it's there, it's very simple. You can turn orbit. So, in an orbit, we choose the object and the camera goes around that. In a spin, in a spin, we place our camera and the camera orbit around itself. Okay, it's a different speed. For example, I... Uh, create my camera exactly here nice and the camera will orbit around itself spin uh, you can choose the duration here 360 um, linear nice and just play uh, what happened to that Okay, and done. Uh, you can choose it and then 
as you can see, the camera is orbiting around its axis. In this way, it's a little bit tricky to hmm, stop it. We can go to the viewport and see the camera. And as you can see, our camera is there. And in this way, you can uh, put your camera exactly here. Now, I think it's better to move in. Going to the camera view and then orbit. Mm, it's nice. You, you can go to the other camera, default camera and orbit. Place your camera position and then uh, orbit it. Sp spin it in its axis. So the orbit is around object. And uh, you can uh, create a camera and then go to <clears throat> default uh, viewport camera and you can place your camera anywhere that you want. Easy. Okay, this is our camera. Oops. Select our camera and bring it there. You can rotate it and then you can go to the camera view and edit it from there. <clears throat> so here you can change the uh, canvas for example if you want to fit the canvas or anywhere here you can uh, frame the selection it's so very interesting select that and then you can hit f for frame selection you can frame all frame all objects at the uh, or frame all mesh objects frame all non-mesh objects you can select them frame selection and shift f is very useful shift f frame all and you can redo or undo the camera and this is for rendering and this is a render settings that uh, i have to explain it later so you learn an important lesson about the camera because it's very important when we want to render it nice and this and you see the timeline okay this is our camera you can go to the viewport any feed animation as you can see because we don't have active any other okay, where is the camera here in animation so in a um, camera we have a transform just you can uh, like other objects you can snap it for example bring on a pivot point and snap it any on any object that you want in an object you can change the output it's very important output size hd full hd you can see here you can change focal length and depth of field that and in an animation tab you can orbit around object nice or a spin around itself and then uh, after that if you want to render animation you have to come to render here and choose entire duration or first frame and a design and here you learn how to frame them and that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release